What's up y'all, this is Insanity, and today I wanted to share a product with you that I think everyone is gonna benefit from, and that is knee pads. Now in breaking, knee pads are very important, especially when training. You could get away with not wearing knee pads when you go to a competition or a performance, but especially when training, you know, you're experimenting, you're doing things that um, maybe you've never tried before, and just being able to protect your knees, something that is important, right? Personally, I like using it because it prevents bumps, scrapes, or even if I'm just like practicing something, sitting on my knee like trying to figure something out the pressure from being on your knee for a long period of time it it starts to hurt right and it starts to you know make your knees achy and at the end of the day it just allows you to train much longer now before I talk about these knee pads I want to talk about a quick history of my knee pad usage now back in the day we use knee pads that look like this right it's cloth it has uh, some foam here this is actually an elbow pad but it's the same exact that you would put on your knee, just a bigger one. These worked great, but the problem was, because they were cloth, they would get wet, and the foam would absorb the, the sweat and hold on to it, and basically, you would slowly become like a slug <laughs> at your practice spot. Everywhere your knee touched the floor, there would be a trail. And so, although they worked well, they protect your knees, they did not breathe, and because of that moisture, your knees would start to get really itchy. About six years ago, I discovered these, right? A number of brands make them. Um, they're basically a dry fit material. They have foam little padding here that just goes around your knee. It's comfortable and it breathes, right? So your knees don't get super sweaty. And if they do get sweaty, it evaporates and you don't have to worry so much about becoming a slug at practice. The only problem with these, I was actually against getting them because these cost about 20, 25, you know, 30 maximum. These were like 40 to $50, right? And so just because of the price tag, I was against them. But when I got them, I was like, oh, this is well worth the price. You know, I, I bought these, they lasted for me five years. It was a good investment. So right now, these are starting to go bad on me. The pads are falling off. So it's about time for me to get new knee pads. And it was kind of perfect timing because this company named Panic sent me these knee pads. Now, full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. I'm doing this review because I believe in this product. I think it's a great product and I think it's beneficial for our breaking community in a lot of different ways. So first of all, this is made by Panic. Panic is a company that has been in the breaking scene for many, many years. Going back, you know, from when I started breaking, you know, 20 years ago, I can't think of a major event that Panic was not at, right? That they weren't sponsoring, that they weren't giving away shirts to, to dancers and sponsoring and supporting dancers. So Panic is very much a brand that is been a part of the hip hop community. Now, this knee pad is very similar to this knee pad. The material is very similar. The design is also very similar. Even the stitching is very similar. This one is a little bit longer, but I know these other brands also make longer ones as well. But I wanted to point out some key differences. Now, like I mentioned, the stitching and quality, almost identical. I can't really tell a difference between one or the other as far as stitching goes. One difference is the Panic one has this little rubber band on the inside, right? This one does not have that. Not to say that some these might have it, but at the $50 price point, this one does not, right? So this has this rubber lining, which basically prevents like any slippage or, or movement that happens on your knees. Next, the padding itself is about the same. I wanna say like, I can say the Panic one is more sturdy, more strong, but then this is five years old, so it, it's really hard to make that comparison. But as far as I'm concerned, the padding is very, very similar. Coverage is very, very similar. I'm gonna go ahead and put this over my knee just to show you what this looks like and put it right next to this one. All right, so here's the Panic one and this is the name brand one. As you can see on this one, at five years old, these are starting to shift around and move. So that's one of the major reasons why I need to get new ones. This is a size large, which covers a good amount of area. I have kind of big calves, so you know, the smaller ones, they kind of cut my leg like this, so I always get kind of bigger ones. When I go ahead and put my knees down, now putting pressure on these, they feel pretty comfortable. I have pretty bad like knee issues where my knees get really achy, not necessarily from dancing, but you know, the dancing contributes it. If I, if I go like walk a mile, 
by the end of that mile, my, my knees are gonna have these like sharp pain inside. So uh, this is why I always wear knee pads. So this feels good, especially if I'm gonna be doing footwork, right? Putting my knee on the floor, or even like knee rocks where I'm bouncing to the floor, right? Um, it, it really kind of covers and protects my knees. One thing I do like too, that both of these offer, is it's not just like the front of the knee, it kind of like covers like a little bit of the surrounding of the front of the knee. These knee pads did a good job in doing that, but there is a knee pad out there I would definitely recommend not getting, and it is that Ninja Turtle knee pad that like, it's just a little circle right here that's super bulky. It is a, a really terrible idea, so stay away from those because they're just, you know, you're gonna look like a Ninja Turtle for one, and secondly, uh, they're just really bulky, right? So if you put pants over it, people are like, why does this guy have such a huge kneecap? It looks funny and it's just gonna get in the way and because it gets in the way, it just makes you look sloppy, even though maybe your, your dancing is really good, but it's just because of that knee pad, it looks sloppy. So I recommend against those. But I received these knee pads a month ago and I didn't wanna review it or recommend it or anything till I actually tested it out and tested it out a little bit long-term. I've been using these for at least three days a week for an entire month um, and so far they, they have worked really great they held up the quality is great really nothing that I can complain about so the last thing I want to talk about is why would I want to buy this versus this the quality is roughly the same again I mentioned this one has a couple things that this does not have but other than that why would I buy this over this first is price point like I mentioned these I've seen them as low as 35 on like a sale but you know, it's anywhere between 35 and 50 bucks for these. These run for $16.99, $16.99. So a lot cheaper than this one. So not only is this cheaper, is like I mentioned in the beginning, this is a local breaking hip hop brand. So when you support this brand, you are not just saving money and you're not just getting a good product, but you are supporting a brand that is a part of our breaking and hip hop community, right? And has been a big part of our breaking and hip hop community for years now. I have a direct link to this product listed below. Check it out and get yourself some knee protection. All right, hope y'all are doing well and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.